Hello guys, so today we are going to lock the box by bookshow.com in Khairzabad. I have taken the metro from Kukatpali and I will be getting down at Lakhadika Bal metro station where I have been walking into this whole big room of a reader's heaven. Each book is so special and all of them are being separated into their genres, respect to genres, that is romance, there is crime, there is fiction, there is adult fiction, there is YA fiction and uh, for children's book also and you can see the whole stacks of all the books present in over here. I will be sharing all the information about how to reach there and what are the contents of the box and how should you be selecting the books at the end of the video. So make sure you are watching it till the end. You can see all the beautiful books in over here and who doesn't like to fall in love with all the books over here. Um, there are especially some of the great books which you can afford at very cheap price that is about 80 rupees. See these are all the books which I have stacked in uh, Perseus box. Hello everyone, thanks for watching ATP that's among the pages where I talk about the books and the content written among their pages. Well, if you are for the first time in here, then Nisar Chutmari, I am a medical plus, a poet and somehow I talk about the books and personal development tips over this channel. So make sure you are subscribing to this channel for more bookish content. So basically this video is all about log the books thing, if all you can see it over here. So basically this is a book fair which is being conducted by bookchot.com which is a second hand buying site which is having a lot of range of books within themselves. So I'll be sharing the details of how to reach that place because this is an offline one and what is the way, how, what is the transport which you can use and all this at the end of the video. But initially I know you all are interested into book hauling so I'll be sharing and I too personally am interested in you to be showing what books I have brought. Pretty much uh, this book is the Perseus box which costs about 1800 rupees that is 1800 and I have been successfully able to fit in 20 books in them. So approximately each one is costing about uh, 100 rupees because uh, for getting 20 books in this, I had to pick up very small and shorter books and some of them are huge so as to get the place into a correct um, measures. So this is what I have done using my some jugad and all, all sort of like that. Basically, um, first I'll be showing the books which were small and uh, smaller in size which occupy least space and then I'll be moving on to the larger books which I have brought. So basically I have already unboxed this thing because I was too curious to show all the books which I have brought to my parents. So this one is going to be just book hauling. So basically the first book which I have, which I think should be mentioned over here is Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. This book has always been on my TBR. This book is known to everyone and it is a classic. However, I pretty much did not have any guts to buy this book because each time I have tried to buy this book, this book was present as a hardcover and it costed too much. I didn't want to invest so much so basically I was lucky to be getting this in the first go as soon as I entered the classic section I, I got my hands upon this book and I have read the Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice and hopefully this is this is gonna be the best read which I'll be ever getting then okay for as I said I'll be showing the shorter books which I have brought so the second book which I think I have brought and the most important most lovable one is Roald Dahl's Matilda so basically this story is about a girl called Matilda who is little notorious but is having super parts but basically they, her parents think that she is nothing more than a nuisance and she gets caught in a trap which is made by her headmistress and how Matilda finds that she's having some powers and how would she come out of that plot. This story is all about that. This is no, like, no less than a fiction. I got this book in the children's section. I rarely go to that site but however I found this book over there lying and I'm lucky to be picking up that. The next book which I think is the most lucky one and this came pretty impromptu and this book is The Present Days by Vijayalakshmi Pandit. The, for the people who do not know who is Vijayalakshmi Pandit, she is sister of the first Prime Minister of India that is Jawaharlal Nehru and she has taken an active participation in the India's freedom struggle and I was very curious to know how were the scenarios of prisons when India was under British Raj and what is the pain our ancient sisters have endured to offer us this freedom for to, in which we today are happily living. So I was happy to be buying this book. However, I was aghast knowing the fact that this book almost costed 500 rupees and I am lucky to be getting it over here. And this is a hardcover one too. So I am happy. I have read this, this book has only 150 pages and I guess I have it among about 50 pages maybe. And I am loving that. I have cried a lot of times when I have actually read how much pain a woman actually has endured only to ensure that the future generations would have a free and happy India. I personally suggest you to be at least going through this book, at least as a PDF or some sort of the other, I would be happy. The next two books which of course are the most uh, lovable ones are, the first one is 
वर्ल्ड बेस्ट और वर्स्ट बॉय फ्रेंड बाई दुर्जय दत्ता आई डो नॉट नो any particular uh, reason why i have picked this book except for the fact that this is written by durjoy datta uh, i guess this was uh, a recommendation done by indian booktuber once in her videos because she is an ardent fan of durjoy datta and i just picked this up the next book which i pretty much loved is uh, cheaters by navanil chakraborty and um this book is basically about nine short stories about love revenge thriller of course you all know navanil chakraborty's right great thrillers which are in and around matter of love so i somehow this is a nice uh, short story one and i hope it turns out to be good i do not know any sort of exact what is written in this book and coming to the last short and small book is this one that is cs lewis the last battle for the chronicles of narnia uh, this pretty much was not there with the whole set of narnia books which i have brought from one of the second uh, second hand bookstore vendor Uh, near our co medical college so this book was not there over there so i was very much searching about this book over this fair and i luckily got this so i'm going to add this into my all the book set of chronicles of narnia so basically all these books were which i have brought which were smaller in size if at all you can see them these are pretty much thin and they occupy little lesser space in the whole box which we have got and these are six out of them So now moving on to the little bigger ones, which um, the first one being J.R.R. Tolkien's Hobbit. Despite being the most famous one, I haven't read the Hobbit, and I repent upon that. So as soon as I entered the classical section, I found uh, Pride and Prejudice along with this book. So I picked this up immediately. Though this might seem to be smaller, I can't consider J.R.R. Tolkien's book to be small, right? And as soon as I got my hands upon this, I also added the two towers because, however, somehow I wanted. Um, Uh, to reread the my favorite classic so i ended up buying this maybe i have got yeah i have got the third part too unfortunately i was not able to find the first part that is a fellowship of the ring but i was lucky to be finding the hobbit um the return of the king and of course the last part i forgot the return of the king sorry so and this is, and this is the battle of two towers so i'm lucky to be having um the quadrilogy of the lord of rings trilogy yet again and i want to reread them yet again i love them Who doesn't love any fiction, any fantasy lover? Absolutely loves books written by J.R. Tolkien. And there's a small question to you. A lot of people do not know how many books J.R. Tolkien has actually written. If you know, you find them. Do comment down below. The Lord of Rings trilogy was only one of the books which J.R. Tolkien has written over his lifespan. There are many books. I want you to search them and comment down below. Yeah, that's a small question over here. So yeah, the next one is of course the most beautiful fantasy read. a uh, fiction read by Stieg Larsson and that is the girl who played with the fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest hornet's nest so basically i again uh, at a second hand vendor store i was lucky to be finding yeah here is a book yes so this i have already found this book somehow at a second hand vendor store near my medical college and uh, however i even have asked him about the next series i did not find over them so i bought it way back however i haven't started reading this so uh, the millennium trilogy has always been the greatest um, uh, considered the greatest book ever written so these are the continuation of those books however i did not want to listen to any spoilers or uh, any sort of review over the internet about these books so i have i do not know what the sto exact story about only the fact is it's written by steve larson is a reason which i have taken his book so if you consider these books are little thick and they occupy most i and i guess these were the books which occupied the most space and i have again three books which occupied the most space in my box but still who doesn't like thick books yeah now coming to the most 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 lovable book and that is wilbert smith's river god and i was super lucky i don't i don't i didn't know that this book was actually written by wilbert smith as soon as i found that this book was lying over there and this it is this thick dear and actually this book is a two in one basically this is a river god and eagle in the sky are the two books which are present this is a two in one book so i found it pretty reasonable because rather than finding two books and filling them over this space i can actually get one book and i can fit it in in them in a lesser space also so i have preferred buying this book i have again i have got no exact reason why i have bought this book only the fact that it is written by wilbur smith so basically as far as i have known about this book uh, this book uh, states a uh, history about egypt the pharaohs and the political turmoil to find to gain the throne and the setting is present in the ancient egypt 
so there is this one lovable heroine there is one lovable um commander in the chief there is this uh, treachery there is a little cow there is a great pharaoh and there is a lot of uh, see a clash of kings and a lot of game of thrones going on in an ancient egypt however i was not satisfied with that text because it is too tightly written however i need to find i found it little problematic but still i can count this as the greatest deal i have got over here if at all i can check it out this actually costs about 8 euros 8 euros approximately when converted into indian rupees might cost around 600 or um uh, 550 rupees or so i don't know the current census but however this might cost okay it's shining so nice i love the shine you see it's literally glittering like the sun yeah so um yeah this is around 600 rupees and i can actually claim that this i got this only for an 100 rupees cost so i'm going the next book which i'll be showing is absolutely that these three books were the mightiest and they occupied the most of my box and that is a mighty dawn by theodore burn um theodore burn has written one of the greatest books i haven't read any book of him as such however i have uh, searched about him internet in, in the google and i found that he has been writing some of the greatest fan fictions and uh, i love them however so i just picked this book up and the main reason i bought this book is because of its beautiful cover uh, and it is if at all you just clearly see that it has this beautiful sword thing and it's being coming out from an ocean and every part of this book is so enticing so i just bought this book this feels like mystical area so i'm loving and i'm literally waiting to get indulged into this great book so this was again a thick book and this book is almost having 5 600 pages here so this is going to be a thick one the again the next, the next thick book which i brought is this one it it again has approximately 450 pages this is when it's by robert harris enigma i do not know anything about that but it is titled the number one bestseller out to the fact enigma uh, this title has actually caught my attention basically this book is all set in the world war 2 where a cryptologist is supposed to be decoding a big message which they have got from germany and that is an enigma code and how that cryptologist actually uh, that cryptologist actually successfully Uh, you see decipher's that code and how does he comes to a conclusion that they are being under attack they are under war and how does he save his own lives and all such great action thing going on in here so this was the book and the next thick book which uh, pretty much occupied my place was gone girl obviously um gone girl by gillian flynn is indeed the best book which one can ever read basically i haven't read this book till now i haven't even uh, known any uh, like spoilers or any excerpts any trivia about this book i have only heard that this book is one is to supposed to be read by any fiction lover so i think that is a pretty much great deal when i have bought this this too is thick and it is having 450 pages again in this huh. it's also it i guess it it was also uh, being made into a uh, motion picture in hollywood and i pretty much didn't watch it only because only under the fact that once i read this book i'll get to watch it and i of, of course i will love the book obviously obviously we all love books rather than movies what is your opinion do make sure you're commenting down below okay the video is stretching down a bit i thought of ending the video in less than about 10 to 12 minutes but it is extending a bit now Yeah. So, now coming to these unexpected most lovable books. These are Shiva and Linga by Mary. I remember her name as Maggie, but it is compl- her complete name is Maggie Steve Potter. And however, this book is all about crime. You can cry- you can find this book in the crime section of the whole scenario. Um these were the first two books of the quadrilogy which she has written this is number 1 best selling new york best selling novel and it's basically i was enchanted by the way the book was presented you see the cover it's so enticing it's it's beyond it's beyond it feels like you are something into an enchanted forest and you are yet waiting for some mysterious black magic to occur and this book is completely in contrary where the wines over here are white and black here the wines are black and the content is in white so again this book is pretty enticing so this was a major reason and as soon as i uh, searched about this book on the internet i have found 
super duper reviews over inter over Amazon and over Goodreads. So I immediately got my hands. But this was, finding these books were not easy. Uh, Shiva was when I found super easily the first installment and when I searched it that the second installment was linger I had to search for one complete hour one and a half hour maybe throughout the fair only to find this book I know the pain of searching and hunting the books and coming to the end of the box and we have the last two books and out of this is The Shadow Forest by Matt Haig see dear uh, I won The Midnight Library by Matt Haig from the melodramatic book one as a winner of a giveaway yes the book is over here i put my most lovable books over this shelf i don't know why uh, i i want them in my hand reach maybe just to watch them over and over again so matt hakes midnight library whose review i'll be making super soon i have absolutely loved i have fell in love with this book this is like the greater though it is considered a fiction book this is no less than any self-help book or this is no less than any great Literally, a great way of actually understanding life, understanding values, and understanding how regrets need uh, actually threat your life in your daily life. Life, life, life. Yeah. So basically, as soon as I read this book, I love, I love the way Mad Hike has been writing. So as soon as I found this book, The Shadow Forest, about whom I, do, about whom I do not know even a bit, but it was written by Mad Hike, so I just picked this book up. And the last book which I'll be currently reading in this is. The Maze Runner. Of course, uh, Maze Runner has to be the greatest book one can ever read. James Dashner writes stunning books. I haven't read any book of the Maze Runner, only at the matter of fact that this book is supposed to be having seven series in them, and I was literally so bad at considering that I was I can never read a seventeen series seven series book. I, I guess you do not need any sort of introduction for the maze runner and this is going to be the quick guide so if at all you can find these most books which i have bought are basically from the fiction and crime thriller genres because i love them romance is zero from my side and uh, children's books are again zero from my side and non fiction again is zero from my side so only fiction and crime thrillers are what i have been able to pack in this small box if at all you can see this is the box uh, only by just or yes, watching that you can easily understand the orientation of the box and how many books is uh, can you fit into this height and over this so basically as i have said i will be informing you the whole content about this uh, lock the box by bookchore so basically there are three types of boxes considering hercules box perseus and odysseus box name after the big gods basically these are gold silver and bronze sort of so the hercules box which is the largest box which is which is in the pink color and it is about 3000 rupees and it can easily accommodate 27 to 28 books and some people even accommodate 32 to 35 according to your jugad and uh, uh, with your way technical way of packing books mm -hmm. in a way uh, skillful manner and the second box which is a perseus box that is this this is an orange in color and it is about 1800 rupees you can easily accommodate 20 books in them if at all you're choosing smaller books first and the third point is uh the odysseus box which is which is 1300 rupees and it can account it's it's in green in color and it can accommodate approximately 10 to 12 books somehow the prices of these boxes were increased uh, about from 400 to 300 i do not know why there, there's been huge hike in the cost of these uh, boxes maybe due to setting the covid reasons so it's an offline book shopping book fair which is being conducted in the Vasavi Kalyana Mandapam in in Khairtaba in the Telephone Bhavan Road which is opposite Central Secretariat. Um, I have gone there through Metro. You must have seen the clippings at the starting of this video. So through the Metro you can easily reach it when you get down at the Lakni Kapul Metro Station. And it's just a matter of uh, 5 minute walk and you can easily reach over there. I know many of them is ha are having Google Maps so you can easily go there. Considering the fact that this book fair is not available online, so you cannot find great deals uh, online this time. So Hyderabad people, make sure you are uh, finding your way to Vasavi Kalyana Mandapam at Hyderabad, at Khairtabad, so that you can get um, your hands upon this uh, book fair. Basically, this is gonna stretch from 2nd of the April to 11th of the April, and today is 7th of the April where I am posting this video. I don't know why I have been grossly busy with my exams till 5th of the April, so I have gone there on yesterday and I have bought these books and I. I am posting this video over here today, 37th of the April. So make sure you are uh, getting your hands upon all these books, whatever you are liking. And uh, if at all you have any queries and any other doubts pertaining to this lock the box thing, uh, you absolutely can uh, comment down below. 
I can also provide you some tips if at all you want um, because what I have felt easily is first you need go and just buy the whole set first can take the books which you want then think about the box don't kindly think about the box don't think about it how many books can I fit in that basically this is a whole process of enjoying and hunting the books which you need to actually enjoy rather than thinking of a bulk of books which you are gonna uh, choke into this box whenever you uh, after you have got the whole set of books and please I I, I personally suggest you to not buy uh, series, series or trilogies because they consume the maximum time because you are not going to find them so easily. They are going to spread out throughout the book fair. So you need to, if at all you find the first book, you need to hunt for the second book for so long and there is no guarantee that you can actually find that second part or the third part. So if at all you want to uh, get a great deal, try to buy books which are basically duology or trilogy, not more than that. And basically the one read go books are way better when you are going for this because you can fit them easily you need not hunt the uh, the next sequence and um, there's absolutely no reason for you to actually note down the books which you want over there you just need to go there without any preparation prior preparation get your mobile take the mob uh, get your mobile data in full charge and just reach over there find the books which you are liking uh, try to read the um, blurbs um, the book blurbs which are written or the summary which is written in the back side of the book maybe and then try to uh, if at all you feel it as much much enticing then just pick it up you can stack the books at the one corner of a room and then later just go and pick this box up and uh, fit all of them in them and if at all some books do not get fit the box need to be completely closed like sort of this it needs to be completely closed the, um, for you to be picking that box up it will be completely closed like this or else they are not going to allow you to take the books if at all uh, some of the books are being stacked much more than this you can buy them uh, for each book is costing 100 rupees that's pretty much a great deal so i think that's all for the today's guys if at all you have any doubts because this is uh, the video has been stretching so long i cannot actually present all the required things over in this small video or which is approximately stretching too much right now um so if at all you have any doubts you can personally message me over my instagram you can dm me or you can clearly mention any doubt in the comment section i will reply them super soon and that's all so till the next video bye bye